um, for resources that are only accessible to teachers, but they have a very large audience. Promoted sites are bookmarked for everybody, um, and that's all controlled by the IT department. You'll see below that I do have sites that I'm following, but I'm going to start up in the gear next to my name and then select Site Contents. There I'm going to see the default apps that are set up in Office 365. What I want to do is create a new subsite, and you'll see a number of sites that I've created listed in the bottom. Subsites are attributed to you, so they're not organization-wide sites, they're created by users teachers and students alike. When we click New Subsite, we have to give that site a name and a description. So for our purposes, I'm going to create a tech review blog for students and give it a brief description.